Welcome back to another vlogmas video. So right now I am actually in the car. I'm waiting on Steven. Um, he is like a PTL. I think that's what it's called. And so he's like in charge of administering PT tests. And so there are a couple people from his unit that needed to take PT tests today. So I'm here waiting for him. I typically don't come to these things, um, but there is a base event that is happening right after this. Um, so we're going to go to that after this. It is a, like a winter wonderland. I think they're calling it Wyvern, the Wyvern Fest or Wyvern Wonderland or something like that. Um, because that's what Aviano's like mascot is that what you would call it is it's a wyvern which is a dragon if you didn't know so we're gonna go attend that later today and i wanted to bring you guys along back when we were at eglin eglin would host a couple events on base but not really i think there was like a summer bash that they would always host out at like the beach on base and they would do like a garage sale like a base wide yard sale like two times a year um but i think that was basically it but here at aviano I'm sure it has a lot to do with the fact that we're just so far away from the states and from family and things like that. So the base here does a really, really, really good job of putting on events. So far since we've been here, we've been able to attend a 4th of July celebration. There was a fall fest, um, but Stephen was TDY for that. So I didn't go to that. Um, we missed that one. And then now there's a winter fest. So, so far they've done a lot of like base wide events, but they also do like other social events as well. The FSS at this base does a really, really good job of making sure that there are equal opportunities, like all kinds of events for everyone, like airmen, single airmen, those living in the dorm, um, people with families and young children and those without kids like they do a really good job I feel like of including everyone so today we're going to this winter fest and I wanted to bring you guys along um to kind of show you what it's like I'm really excited because they have like a like um like a, a tube sledding thing set up they have like a little mini ice skating rink set up they've got a Christmas tree so you can take like pictures um, I think they're gonna have a couple of food booths um, you get like a free little like um, like Wyvern Wonderland like mug um, so I'm really excited about that this is just going to be a really fun like Christmas event again to help get you into that holiday spirit okay after this event we are going to be going off base to the city of Aviano and we're going to be attending a Krampus event I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Krampus before um, I know a movie came out like what maybe five years ago maybe even more than that but here Krampus is like a big thing and I'll look it up I looked it up earlier because I wasn't exactly sure of what it is but this is what Google says Krampus is if you don't know Krampus is a central European popular legend a half goat half demon monster that punishes misbehaving children at Christmas time. Um, it says he is the devilish companion of St. Nicholas. Krampus is believed to have, to have originated in Germany and is, and his name derives from the German word Krampen, which means claw. And then they have like some really scary like images of him. Yeah, that's um pretty scary. <laughs> so I guess, I don't know, like obviously, you know, a lot of countries celebrate and do traditions differently. So, like, in the States, I think, you know, most people believe in Santa Claus and he comes down your chimney and gives you presents. And if you're bad, then he'll give you coal. But we're learning that over here in Europe that I guess they teach Santa and Krampus. So, that's going to kind of be interesting. So, we're going to go to a Krampus event after this one. And I am... Um, a little scared because I, I don't know what to expect but I'm gonna bring you guys along for that and we'll we'll all get to experience it together but for now I'm just going to hang out here until Steven is done with this PT stuff and then we will head on to the event really quick I moved to Sun Pfizer to like help me like block out the Sun and look at this photo Steven has a Polaroid of us in his Sun Visor I'm gonna cry look at us no <laughs> I didn't know he had that in there at all. That's so cute. 
Okay, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shown you guys like the view of the mountain over here, but we're standing in front of the commissary right now. Look at that mountain. Isn't that beautiful? The first time Stephen and I ever saw it when we got here last year, I call it the little like um, the Grinch mountain, like the one that he, I think it's called like Crumpet. But isn't that beautiful? And like later on in the winter, all of the mountains that you see like that, it will all be covered in snow. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it looks so fun. So that's where we're gonna go like sledding on the little, not sledding, but like on the little tube, you get to like slide down there and there's like jumping castles for kids and we got food booths set up. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. I am, it's gonna be so fun. I love doing stuff like this. Oh look, there's like a walking Christmas tree. <laughs> Steven just got us some hot chocolate, and this time, if you watched Vlogmas Day 2, I think it was the video, that one was like the thicker hot chocolate, and this one is like the normal hot chocolate. It's like real hot chocolate. Like hot chocolate that we're used to. But, will you hold this one too? I wanna show the cup really quick. We also, I mentioned to you guys that there's like a free mug that you get, so I wanna look at it really quick and see what it looks like. This is a terrible idea, I'm about to drop okay. this thing. It's like purpley bluish, and it says Wyvern Wonderland 2021. Isn't that cute? That's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna get my hot chocolate. And we are, hold on, there, I'll take this and you do that. And we're currently waiting in line to do a carriage ride. That's so cute. Here we are on a carriage ride with the beautiful mountain back there. We're taking a break from all of the Winter Wonderland festivities and are eating some Taco Bell because I'm freaking hungry. And Stephen and I like to share these nachos, but don't let this fool you because we have all of this food over here right now. Just waiting to be eaten. Okay, so we are done at the base Winter Wonderland thing and now we are heading to the Krampus event. I am nervous, but excited. Um, I'm really just like excited to see, like it's basically like an Italian, not as an Italian celebration, but like an Italian tradition. So, well like European. I'm excited to embrace like their culture and just kind of see what happens. So I will pick up the camera again once we get there and kind of see what's going on. Okay, so nothing's going on yet. There's a lot of music, but I, kind of got a good spot. I am standing on a planter next to this girl. And I, this is the view that I have, I'll show you. This is what I see so far. We are waiting for Krampus, I guess, to come out and then I will pick up some more footage.
are now after the Krampus event. What are your thoughts? I thought it was awesome. I want to like adopt some of those like traditions into the family. Oh yeah? I thought you were going to say you wanted to adopt one of the Krampus. Oh well, no. Those things were terrifying. If my parents took me to one of these when I was a kid and they got my face like they did some of these kids, I'd be traumatized. It was terrifying. I was already a little like nervous scared because I saw pictures on the internet and I was nervous. Um, but going there, we did have a good view-ish. I mean, I did. The boys were like standing on the ground and I was like standing on a flower pot and like a bench <laughs> so I could get some height to see. Um, but it turned, I think it was a really good turnout. We got some photos with them, which was pretty fun. But overall, I say it was a pretty good event. Like nothing much I would say happened. They just kind of like paraded in and then danced around like that hay bell and did like a ceremony, I and guess. They made, they made a huge Or fire. like a sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was it was pretty fun. So that's going to do it for today's vlogmas video I hope that you guys enjoyed this. It's definitely different. It was a European tradition So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing that leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts are about it And if you've ever heard of Krampus if you haven't go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas video. Bye